Hello everyone, this is Cass, and this is a quick tutorial on how to set up everything to develop with Safari Script. So this is a folder you will download from my blog. It has a Visual Studio extension, a PDF user guide, you should read this, uh, the compiler, which is a Ruby script file, and uh, a Safari script file just, should, just to test things. And uh, you also should read this, it's quite helpful. So before everything, you need to have Ruby installed on your machine. So if you do not have Ruby, you should go to Ruby installer and then click on download. And then download the, the latest version and uh, install it. It's, it's quite easy. And uh, the other thing you should have is Visual Studio Code because I developed uh, an extension for it to have a syntax highlighting, so um, there's no uh, no other extensions for other IDEs, so I, I definitely recommend you to get Visual Studio Code. So then download it, install it, just the regular stuff, and then once you have done everything, go back to the downloaded folder. Um, the next thing you need to do is go inside this folder, VS Code, and then copy this folder to the extensions folder in your computer. I will put the, the, the path for this folder on the description and the, the path will be also on the, on the user guide. So make sure you copy here and um, then you should be able to double click it. Perhaps not double click it, maybe you can go with open with and then find Visual Studio Code right here, but um, for me, I already did that, so I can just double click it to open. And uh, if you did everything correctly, you should have it beautifully um, colored like this, but you should note that I'm using um, some custom theme. Which one? Okay, so it's the material theme. So perhaps it, it will look different for you, but you definitely you you will you will have to you will need to have some color in there. So once you have that, um, you're pretty much ready to go. So make sure you, your Ruby installation lets you run um, Ruby scripts by double double clicking them. So what? You will do now you double click this Ruby script file and then um, you should have this message right here so if you do not have this maybe there's something faulty with your Ruby installation so you can perhaps Google that and uh, fix it before doing this so it's it's asking for for us to type a file name or just press enter for the compiler to watch the whole folder for changes. So we 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 just have this ss file which is a Safari script extension. So we'll just press enter, and then the script should compile successfully to JavaScript. So what you will do now, you uh, click and drag this file to your um, Visual Studio Code, and then you can put it right here. And then you can compare the code for uh, both languages, and uh, you can read the comments and everything, and check check some cool Safari script functionality. So that that is it for now. You are good to go to develop some awesome MV plugins, and uh, please let me know if you have any trouble doing this. Thank you. See ya. Hey again, I got too excited with Safari Script and I almost forgot this, so I'm sorry. But I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all my patrons so far. You guys have been amazing and your support really means a lot to me, so thanks a lot. And um, if you want to support my work, perhaps you may check my Patreon page and see if you like it. So that's it. Thanks for watching and see you out.